Hey everyone, it's White Light here with a long-awaited tutorial for how to install Ogar, the Agayo private server, on Linux. Now, a lot of people have been sending me messages, commenting on videos, asking me, White, what do I do if I have a Mac? All of your previous videos have been specific for Windows. Well, that's okay, because this video here, even though it is specific for Linux, has a lot that can carry over directly to Macs. So follow along and I'm going to be including all of the commands that uh, I'm using in this video in the description. So you don't need to pause or anything. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you're running as root. Root allows you to do uh, the updates uh, as well as installing uh, new packages and adding new user accounts. So First things first, you want to make sure that the system is got all of its security patches and bug fixes applied. So we're just going to run an update. Now with everything that's going on, it may take longer, it may take shorter on your own computer. That depends. A lot of this stuff has already been done on my server so it'll take less time but if it takes longer for yours don't panic the next things we need to install are build essential git screen and you may or may not already have it so it's good to check anyway nano the text editor and finally the last thing that we need to install while we're on root is node.js this is what's actually running ogar so we're going to be building it from the source, so downloading it directly so it has all the bug fixes and patches from the latest version. And finally, for security purposes, we want to make sure that we're running Ogar as a separate account. Whenever you're running a sir anything connected to the internet that's open for connections you want to make sure that it's running as an unprivileged account because if anything should happen if a hacker gets it and whatever we want to make sure that they can do as little damage as possible root is like the do anything and get away with it account if a hacker got into that your entire system is compromised so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new account called ogar acc and so you just enter in the password, something you can remember. And then all this extra information here, you can just leave it blank. It does not matter. All right. So once we've done that, we can just exit out of this terminal window and open it up on another account. So I've logged in as the Ogar ACC account. And the last step before we actually download Ogar is we need to install something called WebSockets. And uh, that's WS for short. And this allows your computer to have uh, and accept connections from the outside world through Ogar. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for actually downloading Ogar itself. This is done through a simple git clone. And that was it. Now to run it, we're going to use something called Node.js Ogar. And if you're not used to Linux, just remember capitalization matters. Now in my most recent video, I talked about the most uh, common error that people on Windows encounter, which is due to the fact that port 443 is used by Skype. And when you're running this on Linux, you're also going to encounter a very similar error due to port 443 because you're not allowed to use it when you're not using root. And because it's a security issue, we don't want to do that. So we're going to edit the game config file, which is called gameserver.ini. And we're going to use nano, although if you're a particular, um, if you're interested in a specific editor, you can use that too. So what we need to do is we need to edit server port. We need to change that from 443 to something above 
1024. I like 1500 personally. We also need to change the server stats port. So I'm going to change that to 1501. Then just hit Control X to exit, Y to save the changes, and then finally hit Enter to apply it. And once we do that, Ogar is now safely running on port 1500, and anyone will be able to connect to it. The only problem is, once we close out of this SSH connection, or you know however else you're connecting to it, this will stop running. Um, so what we need to do is we need to close this out, and we're going to be using screen. And this screen opens up a new separate session and allows you to run something within that session and then exit out of it without having to worry about it closing down. And so all we have to do is use screen, and it's that simple. The server is now running in the background and we can exit out of this SSH session. If we want to access it, you know, enter in some commands, see who's on the server, we just use that. And here is our OGAR server. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. If you've enjoyed the video, thought it was helpful, please like, subscribe, it helps out a lot. Uh, if you have anything else, you know, suggestions for a new tutorial or whatever, let me know. I'll be glad to take that into consideration. So, I hope you have a great day, guys, and make sure to have some fun with Ogar.